to put my thoughts because I'm a teaching class, I'm a teacher. I teach political science, so and I knew that the time will be very short, so I put some of my ideas in there. And I don't find uh, your book, Shashi uh, Dhanshan, as a journalistic piece. It's, it's a very, very academic piece, and there is a lot of uh, thoughts, especially in the context of research. What is the purpose of research? You know, raising the questions and finding out the solution. And the uh, main aspect of research is that a thing which has been seen by everyone, but not thought by everyone, so that is research. So that we have done, uh, gave a very new perspective. This is a very, very valuable uh, publication at par with academics and globally recognized institutes. And you have enveloped uh, uh, history, <coughs> politics, and foreknowledge, what is going to happen in the future about India-China ties in most analytical manner without giving much space to value-based perspective. Uh, I have uh, found certain points uh, which validate uh, your work and the legitimacy, because the legitimacy is very important and legitimacy is also important for the country, not only four factors like territory and sovereignty and government and people. The fifth factor is the international recognition, but also the legitimacy in my eyes and even words. So, so from that point of view, your book is, uh, I find this because I found six IFS, including the Foreign Security, they have uh, you know, made a very positive comment about it. There are three senior academics in this book because uh, I don't think all of you have this book. So six IFS and very senior IFS, and most of the ambassadors who worked in, uh, who served in China three senior academics and other two other experts. I don't know them very much. And I found your writings based on uh, on uh, your worldwide purposive travel with living experiences in China and your own country, India. So I found more like you like Niccolo Machiavelli, but not in a negative sense, because Machiavelli is basically known for giving the theory of power. And he gave this theory of power when Italy was divided into five parts. And he traveled a lot. And nobody talked about power in that context. So therefore, you know, he is known as the father of modern political science, Machiavelli. So, so this book, because I was teaching China for some time in my department for several years, but now I have that. And the other thing which I found your uh, this data is your book more like. Uh, G.J. Russo, uh, who talked about the social contact, and he's very confused philosopher. And your uh, book is also going to create some confusions, whether you are pro-Chinese or pro-India, or nationalist or patriotic, or whatever. Anyhow, but uh, very well uh work. You avoided the contemporary hostile and colored narrative, uh, which are being sold to ignorance. Ignorance. Uh, this word was used by Plato, especially for those people who are very selfish, only trying to do good things with their families, that's all. So Plato called them ignorance. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you avoided you know, this uh, approach, uh, which is being sold to the ignorance and also to workers. And the worker word used was, uh, was used by Machiavelli, and he told the prince that when you meet people, uh, try to do acting that you are very good people, you are very religious person, so, but you are not. Because people are vulgar, they see eyes, they do not see your heart. So he called people, these kind of people, as vulgar. So this is not meant, you know, this book is not meant for the vulgar and the ignorance, uh, uh, this thing. So like other journalists, I'm sorry, Ms. I'm not, uh, I'm talking about the, the contemporary phenom phenomenon which is going on in the field of journalism, like other journalists, uh, you, were, you, you were not driven by phantasma uh, or the fantasia. Uh, this word, uh, this word uh, was used by the, the skeptics uh, and also by the Stoics in ancient Greece. Uh, your work also seems to have endorsed cataleptic approach, not the acataleptic. Comprehensive, you see, one can understand your things. Uh, uh, this thing. And then I found that your uh, reflection, uh, your reflects, your writings reflect patriotism, not nationalism. Because nationalism is basically meant for the 
monocultural society and patriotism is meant for a bigger society because India is a continental India and it's a multicultural diverse country, very rich. It's like a multicolor carpet. Uh, so you follow uh, this uh, patriotism and Vasudeva Kutumbaka, the whole world is family. In Islam also, we say that all human beings are, are all of Allah. All means family of Allah. So you do good things to them, irrespective of religion or caste, etc. So I find, I, I'm using a Greek word, three Greek words for your work, uh, which talks about the togetherness of mind, that is homonoia, and uh, living together, koinonia, for the purpose of a happy life, that is eudaimonia. It's a Greek word because I'm teaching Greek philosophy in my department. Uh, another aspect is uh, that your writing, of course, it is, you know, is very much like other writings. Uh, it is very much in the Western epistemological paradigm. Yes, I'm going to finish it. Paradigm. Uh, uh, but uh, you, uh, your work is, uh, is, is, is a very you know, formidable kind of research. And the end, because I got to sleep for one minute, uh, that is the, that, and I have some questions here, but there is no time for only your work, because there should be some critical aspect also. But, so you are lucky that of time. <laughs> so, so at the end of it, I will say that you treated the subject in their China not as a threat and not as a challenge, but as a neighbor. This is very, very important because the neighborhood concept is, is now becoming alien to our society. And uh, I find that your work I hope uh, this will be very good for the coming generation because they are very confused. I always tell my students that you should be wrong, but you should not be confused. So I congratulate you and thank you, Chairperson, for giving the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor.